Kaplan being here, and we are really happy that you were able to make it today. Thank you so much. Thank you, Madam Chair and Senator Bozeman. It's an honor to be here. It's true that I spend most of my time in the Judiciary Committee on Thursdays. I'm happy I could join you today. We have a rich tradition in the Judiciary Committee to honor chairs. Uh, we ask chairmen to submit an 8 by 10 black and white photograph, which is then um, mounted on a store-bought frame uh, on the wall. And uh, I'm looking forward to the day I receive that honor, and I want to congratulate you on your own. Uh, I think the portrait is beautiful. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I look forward to coming to your photo or portrait unveiling, whichever it is. Well, we don't have an official unveiling. <laughs> But seriously, it's beautiful. Uh, secondly, I would like to make a plea, and I don't know if this is appropriate, since Senator Marshall is promoting whole milk for nursing mothers. I once visited the Guinness Brewery in Dublin, and they have a policy of giving to nursing mothers one glass of Guinness a day. <laughs> they think that's very healthy, and with rosy-cheeked Irish children, I think they must be right. So if he is allowed to bring whole milk, can we ask the Irish Embassy for their help? We, it, it will certainly consider it. That's a possibility. Thank I you. Think. <laughs> On a more serious note, <clears throat> I thank the team from the USDA. Illinois has operated a program for more than 20 years providing health care services to 8,000 elderly, disabled, and community-style apartments who prefer those to nursing homes. These supportive living facilities provide meals to these frail, low-income individuals across our state through SNAP. What they do is pool the benefits of the people who are receiving these meals to lower their bills and spare them from going out to shop. This program worked well. No financial wrongdoing, and that's been confirmed by the USDA over 20 years. Accessible health and nutrition, giving mom and dad more independent living options in a creative way. They're not asking for more. They're taking what they are legally entitled to and pooling it into an effort to have community meals. Suddenly, a few years ago, the U.S. Department of Agriculture decided these facilities were institutions. Nothing had changed in Illinois, no statutory definition of institution, and these facilities provide three meals a day for two decades with no complaint from anybody. The surprise was that the USDA decision to terminate SNAP benefits for the people who, if they moved back home in isolation, would still qualify. If they left the community apartment uh, living uh, environment and went to their own homes, there would be no question about the SNAP benefits. So, Ms. Dean, do you agree that this situation arose not because Illinois or these facilities did anything wrong, but because the USDA changed its mind after 20 years? Uh, Senator, first, I appreciate you bringing up the senior living facilities in Illinois. It's in a really innovative uh, home-based and community care setting, and you're right to uh, you're right to bring it to the attention of others. Uh, the situation occurred because USDA improperly uh, allowed the institutions into for how long? Many years. Twenty years. Many That's years. it. Sorry. That's the reason. Yes. Uh, and we're now working very closely with Illinois and your office to explore other options uh, in order to continue to uh, see if there's a way for the federal government to support these facilities in offering the great care that you describe. Thank you for that. Senator Duckworth and I added a provision working with Senator Stabenow in the last farm bill to extend the status quo. Uh, CBO added a new surprise when, when we made this suggestion keeping the status quo now somehow costs money and must be scored. But nothing had changed in Illinois in 20 years. USDA terminated SNAP for these residents last December 31st. Terminated SNAP. The state was forced to obtain a temporary Medicaid waiver to partially replace the shortfall of SNAP funds. I don't get it. These are people, seniors, disabled people, eligible for SNAP, who are taking their check in and pooling it with others that they're living with so they can have a community meal. And all of a sudden, this is illegal after 20 years. We need a solution. I hope you can assure me that you'll work with me in finding one. In earnest, sir. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you very much. Senator Fisher, 